Lazy Bum Yakuza. I'm Yutika Makimura. I'm a lazy... I introduced myself in the previous episode, so let me skip it. I don't have time for it. Because... I bought some fruit jellies at a pastry on the way over here. Would you like some? The Kaiden Clan's junior head visited me for tea. They sell gummies and cookies, too. Maybe I should have bought them for you. Oh, no. Jellies are great. This is Kurosasan, the junior head of the Kaiden Clan, which is an affiliate of the Oban Clan. The Imagawa Clan is also an affiliate, but both clans aren't getting along because the Kaiden Clan tried to take over our turf. We're old-fashioned, and they're more like gangsters than Yakuza. Like oil dropped into water, we'll never blend with each other. Noguchi-san seems to really hate the Kaiden Clan's boss, Shinkai-san. Whoops, sorry. This is Noguchi-san shooting Shinkai zombie with a machine gun. It's from our sub-channel. My bad. Well, actually, they're like this. The other day, Kurosa-san recruited me to the Kaiden Clan. I gave him a clear no. Why did he visit me again? Did he come here alone? Is there more of them? Just this driver in the garage. Kaji's watching the cameras. Do you think Shinkai sent him here? I don't know. But I don't think they'll mess with us today because Shinkai's at the headquarters. Whatever happens, he'll be put on trial right here. Anyway, it was the right choice to let him in. They might have made a big deal out of it. Yeah. We need to know what Kurose is after. Makimura is with them, right? Let's wait and see how things go. But keep an eye on them. Sure. Oh, a low-carb diet? Yeah, my doctor forced me into it. So, um, can I help you? Oh, come on. I told you I'd like to have tea with you someday. He came just for tea? I wanted to take you to a cafe, but I thought your men would overreact. There's a cafe close by, and the parfait there is really great. We should go there together someday. Yeah, yeah. To be honest, I'm thinking you're after something. You don't have to beat around the bush. I'll answer your questions as much as I can. You make things easier. I like you for that. Well, I just wanted to see you. Hmm, I don't think it's fun to speak with me. It is fun for me, but I don't want you to feel uncomfortable. We both carry a lot of weight in the clan's business. Let's talk about the lowdown of our business. That's the last thing for us to tell each other. As you know, we mainly handle drugs and scams. There was a time when we were doing gold import business. The sales taxes will be profits. Did you know that? Oh, you were handling gold? Gold costs the same all over the world. An ingot is about 5 million yen in any country. Buying and selling gold is tax-free in most countries, but in Japan and a few other countries, valued added taxes and sales taxes will be added. So, if you buy an ingot, 5 million yen's worth of gold, in a country where you can take gold abroad without paperwork or punishment, such as Hong Kong and Singapore, you can sell the ingot for 5.5 million yen, including sales taxes. And if you fulfill some certain conditions, you don't have to pay the sales taxes, 500,000 yen, to the country, which means it'll be your profit. The conditions aren't hard. Each one is easy to clear. It hasn't been two years since your company started. Your company has a capital of less than 10 million yen, or your taxable sales for the base period are 10 million yen or less, and so on. In other words, the amount of sales taxes minus the flight tickets will be a clear profit. However, I think it's really hard to be a successful business. You can't make good money unless you buy four or five ingots at once. It doesn't pay off the time and effort. Plus, if you repetitively buy and sell gold in a short time, the authorities will acknowledge that it's for profit and your future transactions will be taxed. That's right. So we won't use our clan's members' IDs for any deals. I knew it. It's not illegal, but two Yakuza men got arrested for doing it in Fukuoka in 2014. The men went abroad for gold transactions so frequently that the authorities acknowledged they were evading taxes. The ingots they brought into the country were 4 kilograms, 20 million yen's worth. They weren't returned to the men for two months. Plus, the men ended up paying fines and the sales taxes. Every Yakuza clan doesn't have too much money. I'm sure they wanted to cash the ingots out as soon as possible. It was a big failure. The authorities pay a lot of attention to Yakuza, so we're not cut out for buying and selling gold. Are there some Hong Kongers working for you? You're very perceptive. Yes, that's right. They aren't necessarily Hong Kongers, though. Our lower-level organization has many connections with people overseas. They buy gold overseas and bring it over to Japan. Kositas. They disappear with money sometimes. Yakuza know what betrayal leads them to, but most gangsters are really reckless. Do you chase them down? Of course. 
Actually, we find those who possibly betray us in advance. We give them a job, they run away with the package, and we easily catch them because we're waiting for them at the places where we know they come. It's easy. To, to make an example? Like, hey, this is what you get for running away with our money. Yeah, but it's more like a stress management strategy. We have a lot of violent guys. They'll get into a fight quite often unless I let them blow off some steam once in a while. My boss says it's some sort of life bait. Scary. We were making good money before, but we had to give it up because of the pandemic and the immigration restrictions. So you're knowledgeable about business like this, as expected of you. I did some research because I wanted to keep it legal. Legal or illegal? Is it important to you? I'll be arrested if it's illegal. I'm sure there are a lot of guys who turn themselves in for you. They'd happily go to jail. How about Koduka-san? If it's re-offense, the punishment will be heavy, but he has no criminal record. No, not him. Why? Going to jail is a shortcut to promotion. I'll never make him go to jail instead of me. I'm his big brother. I won't treat my little brother wrong. Well, yeah. It's reasonable from your perspective. If we can make money legally, that's the best. Then you don't have to be Yakuza, Makimura-san. You can join a normal company. People keep telling me that. It's impossible. My first business that went well is running a dating app with a lot of shills. It was totally illegal. We don't hire shills anymore, though. Then can the users actually meet people through the app? No, we made it so that they could speak with virtual characters. I think you've heard of chatbots? They're popular in China. Is it safe to say that they're AI that we speak with? Yes, a lot of large enterprises have already deployed help desk chatbots. On some dating apps, the management companies use chatbots instead of shills. But they can't speak well yet. They're clunky to the point that users might realize it's a chatbot. So I made an announcement that our dating app is a mobile game, where users can speak with characters with points they collect. Characters. When they use their points, the game will ask them if they want to see an actual person or a character. If they choose a character, they can speak with its AI. The characters are supporting characters and enemies from the game. Our audience loves it. It's really impressive. Actually, I'm interested. Fortunately, we're making good money from this. We use a tax haven to save on taxes. A tax haven is a country or independent area where taxes are levied at a low rate. Panama and the Cayman Islands are famous ones. They have a very low corporate tax rate, or don't have it at all, in order to obtain foreign currency and capital. That's why various types of enterprises and rich individuals found companies and make bank accounts and tax havens. Part of the amount of money they save on taxes is my salary. What? Not the profit? Otherwise, the maintenance company will be dissatisfied. But, you know, I get paid well. My salary changes according to circumstances. When the company wants to make the app better, I want them to use more money than usual. I see. But with all due respect, the maintenance company is small-sized. I'm not sure if saving on taxes like that pays off time and effort. You think? It takes time and effort, yeah. And people associate tax haven with money laundering. Some companies will avoid it. Still, it's beneficial to us. The company needs to do money laundering anyway before they send me money. Originally, I was aiming for Ireland like Google. But the other day, this person who's knowledgeable about stuff like this told me it's impossible. Plus, so many people took advantage of tax havens that they discussed it at the G7 summit. It's been decided that the world's standard corporate tax will be at least 15% in 2023. We'll be unable to save as much on taxes as we do now. It's 30% in Japan. That's right, but it's 0% in Panama. And there are many places where it's almost zero, but it'll be 15% all over the world. We have a lot to work on. I guess it's tough. It's simple, I just need to make more money. We'll work it out. What's wrong? If anything, I think you're a passive person. But when it comes to business, you'll be feisty. Feisty? I mean, assertive. I didn't mean you're violent. My boss thinks of you as a nobody, but you're not. He doesn't have a good eye. You talk bad about him quite often. Yeah, but don't worry. He likes himself for accepting disobedient ones. Is he the type of man that Makino-kun told me about the other day? Those who love acting like big shots? The Kaiden Clan's office. Kurosei. Shinkai-san, you're back. Where the f*** you been? Who said you could go around, you a You're in a bad mood. Did something happen at the headquarters? Anyway, don't take it out on the computer. They'll break down if they get wet. Don't f***.
Did I? Normally, you're fine with banter like that. Anyway, I'm sorry. <sighs> so what happened? I don't want you to hit my head every time you get mad. Two of our drug pushers got arrested. The police seized all the drugs they had. Good Osei. We'll take my camera out. That OCD agent too. Thank you for watching our videos. We upload new videos every week. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new content. Every comment helps our channel. Please feel free to leave your comments.